printing from a Chromebook. How do you do it? Well, honestly, it's uh, pretty much like any other device. You hit Control P or you click on File, click on Print. Uh, but before you even get to that step, how do you actually add a printer to your Chromebook so that your Chromebook can print? Well, it's actually pretty darn easy. Not even joking. Uh, it literally takes you about 10 seconds after your printer has already been set up and added to your Wi-Fi network. So uh, really excited by how easy this is, and I'm excited to tell you about it. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to add your Wi-Fi enabled printer to your Chromebook. What's up guys, James here, and I am resurrecting this YouTube channel after probably five years uh, or more since, since the last time I uploaded a video, and um, I'm, I'm pretty much made all those videos private, so to you, it'll look like this is the first video ever uh, uploaded to this channel. Um, but, uh, you know, those videos were old and outdated and, and obsolete, so figured it's probably best to just remove them from the internet and start fresh with, um, you know, relevant current information. And today we're going to start our new YouTube journey uh, with a video about uh, printing and adding a printer to your Chromebook, which is actually quite easy. Um, the journey of printing from a Chromebook has been a rather interesting one. Um, in the very beginning, you actually couldn't connect a printer to a Chromebook, like in the very beginning. Um, the only way to print from a Chromebook was to utilize a service called Google Cloud Print, which was a pretty cool service. I actually really liked it. Um, the downside was that you needed a printer that was Google Cloud Print ready. And if you didn't have one, you could still do it, but then you would need like another computer to act as like the mediator. So what would happen was if your Chromebook is connected to the internet, it could send a print job to Google Cloud Print servers. And then Google Cloud Print servers would send the print job either to your printer, if you have a Google Cloud Print ready printer. If not, it'll send it to the computer, the, the mediator computer, as long as that computer is turned on and connected to the internet. And then that computer could send the print job to the printer. So, um, you know, it's a pretty cool service, but it did have its downsides. Um, and then in December, I think of 2020, they uh, shut down Google Cloud Prints. So that's not even an option anymore. And, um, but they did go ahead and make, um, you know, they went ahead and added the ability to actually add a printer to a Chromebook. So you didn't have to use Google Cloud Print anymore. I liked Google Cloud Print because it allowed you to print from anywhere, which was kind of neat. You know, you could be at the office and you could print something and it would be waiting for you when you got home or vice versa. But whatever that's in the past, um, long story short, today it's actually quite easy to, to add a printer. Uh, for a while, we were using an app called HP Print for Chrome, which of course would only work with HP printers. And it made that process pretty easy. Um, but now, like I said, you could pretty much add any printer to, to a Chromebook. Of course, there's going to be exceptions. There's always going to be that one printer that just doesn't want to, you know, play nice. Um, but, uh, you know, for the most part, adding a printer should be pretty easy. And I'm going to show you how to do that here. Um, so if you're on a Chromebook, you probably know that to get to your settings, you can click on this little system tray down here and click on our settings gear. And then somebody decided that adding a printer was an advanced setting. So we'll come down here to the advanced tab, click on that and click on print and scan. And you can see we have printers right here. I'm just going to click on that and it's already detected this printer. So I have a printer that's connected to my Wi-Fi network here at home. My Chromebook is also connected to the same network and voila, it just showed up. So I didn't have, you know, I haven't done anything like, I haven't searched the internet for printer drivers or anything silly like that. It just showed up. So I'm just going to go ahead and click save. And now you can see that the printer has been added. So super simple. Um, if your printer doesn't automatically show up, you know, you can click add printer here and get some information from your printer, like, you know, it's IP address or whatever, the protocol, um, some, some kind of nerdy stuff. 
and um, you know perhaps you'll be able to add your printer that way if it doesn't automatically show up but hopefully your printer will just show up and you can just click save and and you'll be good to go and you can start printing um, so that's pretty much it pretty quick short video for the for the first one in five years i didn't want to hit you with anything crazy complicated um, it's you know it's just uh it's something that's asked a lot and it's been a really wild journey uh printing from a chromebook and so Honestly, it's just nice that this video can be so short and simple because it hasn't always been this easy to add a printer to a Chromebook. So kudos to the to the Chromebook team for that. And, um, you know, if you have any questions or if you have any sort of experiences that you feel might benefit somebody, for instance, maybe your printer doesn't show up automatically, but you were able to add it with this add printer option. Um, you know, feel free to share that story in the in the comments of this video. So, you know, other people might be able to benefit from that. And uh that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.